Hey guys, it's Lindsay here. Um, I'm going to teach you how to make um, a fishtail, a fishtail, um, rubber band bracelet. Okay, so... Okay, so we only need a diagonal, two hooks right here, like this one and that one. Okay. I'm going to be using pink and red. So let me just get them. Pink and red. Okay, okay so first you're going to start by taking your rubber band, the first color you want, and putting it on the two in a figure eight. Like so. Then you're going to take the next color you choose, which mine is red, and put it on the top of it, not in a figure eight, just put it on. And then you're going to take a pink, another pink, this one, or whatever color you want, or whatever color you choose, and, one second, and then you're going to take your hook. And you're going to go under here, like this. You're going to take your hook. You're going to grab the pink underneath the red. Underneath, not on top. And you're going to pull it over the two. So it should look like that. You always want to have three rubber bands. So now you can see that I only have one red. Which I should have two reds, so I'm going to take another red, and I'm going to put it on. I'm going to grab the red underneath the other pink, and put it over, like so. Okay, and then I'm going to take another pink. And then I'm going to put it on top of the red. And you're just going to keep doing this until you get all the way, and until it's big enough to fit your wrist or whoever you're making it for its wrist. So now I have a red and pink. I'm going to put another red on top. You should do this too, with whatever color you choose. And here, put it on. Okay. So, and then you have to push it down and just keep going until you reach the length you need it to be. So, I'm going to stop this because it would take me a long time to, um, to reach the end. So, I'm just going to keep doing this and then, um, I'm going to show you what a fishtail looks like, what it should look like when you're all done. This is what it should look like as you're working. So it should just look like this. And you keep pushing it down. Okay? So yeah, that's basically how you do it. Um, so now that I have a uh, pink, red, I'm going to put another pink on top. You should always have three rubber bands, like I said. And you just take it from underneath. See my hook? You just take it from underneath and pull it over. Okay? So take it underneath and pull it over. And then at the end, it'll look like this. That is what it'll look like at the end. And if it doesn't, well, take it out and try it again. So, yeah, that's how you make a fish gel. Um, I'll make more videos, probably, on this. So, so yeah, um, I guess I'm going to finish this because at the end there's something you got to do. So, like I said, I'm going to put a red on top of the pink, and then there's a red underneath the pink. So, and it might take a while, yes, but... It's really fun, and just go with it, okay? So, so yeah, and um, 
um, at the end it should look like what I showed you with the red and green. Um, yeah, so you just keep going until you reach the end. Um, you can make it to literally whatever length you need it because you can just keep going. So just put it, take the pink or red, I meant, or whatever color you have and just pull it over. It's really simple. It just takes a little while. So, yeah, um, this has been Lindsay Stevens here, and, um, yeah, this is how you make a fish tail with, um, color loom. Yeah. Alright. Bye, guys.